Welcome to 843 TV. We are here in the County Channel Studio and we're gonna be talking with some folks from Beaufort County and they have got some very important topics to discuss. First up, we are with Eric Greenway. He's the County Administrator. We're gonna be talking about affordable housing. Then we've got Brad Mole. He is with Community Works. And lastly, we'll have Steve Donaldson. He's the Director of the Beaufort County Alcohol and Drug Abuse Department. So stay right here for 843 TV where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to Eight Four Three TV. We are at the Beaufort County in the. TV studio today, and we're going to be talking about some very important topics. And joining us first is Eric Greenway. He is the county administrator. Good to be here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, everyone knows that a very important topic for our county wide has been affordable housing. So we're going to discuss that today. And we're going to talk about the ways that um, Beaufort and the county is taking advances in that with Let's start talking about that. Okay, well, uh, first of all, we probably need to start off with a discussion of what affordable housing is. Yes. There's a lot of confusion mm -hmm. about that. We're talking about affordable workforce housing, not affordable subsidized housing, which is commonly referred to as Section 8 housing. Affordable workforce housing is a very important issue to Buford County because many of the folks that work in our service sectors here, nurses, teachers, EMS employees, um, people that work in the tourism industry on Hilton Head and around of the resorts here in the county, they have a difficult time finding housing uh, inside the county so that they can live in the county where they're working. So about two and a half years ago, um, I presented a proposal to what is called the So Loco Board, the Southern Low Country Board, which is made up of the municipalities south of the Broad on developing a regional housing trust fund uh, for the area. And Soloco embraced that idea, appointed a subcommittee that I chaired. We studied the idea and recommended a framework to the Soloco board for establishing a regional housing trust fund. We then went out and expanded the reach of the Soloco board to all the municipalities uh, in the uh, county. and. Everyone contributed money to hire the consultant to establish a framework for establishing a regional housing trust fund. And that consultant came in and worked with the steering committee. We presented that study to Soloco, to all the municipalities, and it culminated in eight jurisdictions, um, Buford County, Jasper County, and all six municipalities in Buford County contributing money and joining and signing an intergovernmental agreement to embrace the idea of setting up the Regional Housing Trust Fund and provide funding for that. So this has been a long process, years in the works. So we're finally here. And where do we, what are the next steps? What about the trust fund? How will that work? Well, the trust fund, you know, in order to have the trust fund and have it work properly, you need two things. One, you need the funding. So we've contributed the funding through the eight jurisdictions that have provided funding to establish the Regional Housing Trust Fund. And then you need a management arm to operate mm -hmm. the Regional Housing Trust Fund. We could have hired our own folks locally to do that, but there's a great organization in the state of South Carolina called Community Works, where you'll hear from here shortly um, in this episode. And we entered into a contract with them uh, to actually manage and operate the Housing Trust Fund on behalf of the region. Mm -hmm. So they are getting up to speed now reaching out to municipalities, finding out what the needs are, finding out what projects are out there. And they will help close that gap between affordability and putting units on the ground. So there's a yeah. few things that are impediments to affordable housing here uh, in Buford County and in Jasper County. A lot of those are impact fees, water and sewer impact fees, uh, just the cost of construction here in the county to meet design standards and things like that. So Community Works will work with developers to and the individual municipalities on things that and various tools and incentive programs that can help them be able to provide that housing at a rate that is affordable for the folks to 
uh, that work here to also live here. It's truly a partnership with so many different groups, so many different organizations yeah. working together for the greater good, north of the broad and south of the broad, That's both right. sides of the counties. Uh, especially, you know, we're, we're, I think we're seeing the effects of this now. You've got businesses that are closing because they don't have staff and you can't have staff or you can't live there. So it's yeah. very important. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and it's very it's it's also important for folks that are watching the episode to understand that, you know, the folks that we're talking about assisting are folks that we allow to do some pretty significant things to us all anyway, because you know, you have that NIMBY uh situation occasionally with affordable housing projects. People are like, We don't want that in our community and all. Yeah. But if you think about it, you know, these folks are the folks that are giving us medication at hospitals, yep. mm -hmm. putting IVs in our arms, driving us at high rates teaching of speed the to the hospital, mm -hmm. teaching our children, serving us food on plates that, you know, yeah. have been washed there and things like that. So, you know, if we're all if we're comfortable allowing them to do those types of things to us then we ought to be comfortable with them living Abs in our neighborhood. For sure, absolutely. So everyone wants to know, how long did this come to fruition? Are we talking about years? Are we talking about? No, we should be funding projects probably the first, second quarter of 2023. That's great. So Community Works is on board. They have an, a local employee here to assist with that. Very talented gentleman that everyone will meet here in a few moments. Uh, I've worked with him for the time that I've been here in Beaufort County since 2018. Very talented, very capable young man, uh, has a lot of talent and ability, and he'll do a great job. Uh, he and I work well together. That'll continue. I have a great working relationship with the community work staff back in Greenville, and um, a person by the name of Tammy Hoy that's given me a lot of uh, guidance and direction on getting all of this established and set up. So, it's, um, it's right around the corner. Yeah. And I'm excited about it because it's gonna take us from doing dozens of affordable housing units a year in this region to hopefully doing hundreds of affordable housing units mm -hmm. a year uh, in this region. And that's gonna be a significant impact and be uh, the type of impact that where it's really gonna make a difference to workforce and people being able to live here and also work here. Well, Eric, thank you for sharing all that with us. And we're excited to get a little bit more detail, as you mentioned, coming up in our next segment. So stay right here. We'll be back with more 843 TV.